let us try to understand the given set here it has mentioned that a group of 450 iit je aspirants were asked about which test series they have subscribed for exam preparation and i can see that uh, some people have subscribed for ln test series some people take g and some others as agarwal classes so now these are the three different and on the basis we need to solve our problem so let me go on drawing that as a diagram format let me go on drawing it so these are the three and let me consider this is the total Now, what is information? First information, 450, which is the total. And uh, step by step, first one, ln. Let me consider ln as an ln. Take g as tj. Agarwal classes ac. These are the three. Now, uh, out of that 200 subscribe for ln 200 is here 210 in this zone 190 is for agarwal classes 40 did not subscribe that means outside 40 is the number which is did not subscribe to any of the three 90 subscribe to exactly two of the three series now if i am writing them this cell is small a which is only ln this small b which is only take g small c is agarwal classes d e f and g this is the way conventionally i have written now what is that 90 90 subscribe for exactly two or exactly two of the three test series then it would be d plus e plus f it is given as 90. Now, once it is given, I can find it out that entire part union of these three test series, if I write, then what should I write it down? It would be nothing but A plus B plus C, a type 1, which is only one test series, plus D, E, if it is the people those who have taken two test series and g those who have taken three these entire part plus 40 is 450 so the entire part whatever written it should be equal to 450 minus 40 410 it is a type of relation where def i know 90 so from here i can write a plus b plus c plus g it is four four hundred and ten minus ninety three hundred and twenty let me take this is our one equation one another equation let me go with this if i am adding this three circle means if i if i am doing a n total a n plus total tj plus total ac that would be equal to actually this three whenever it has mentioned it would be 200 plus 210 plus 190 so this is actually 600 and these entire value is basically our entire union part but d will appear two times d e f g will appear three times so can i say that it is actually a plus b plus c plus two times of d plus e plus f plus three times of g is equal to 600. so this one if you have written it would be nothing but d f so again we know sum is 90 so it is 180 so can i write a plus b plus c these along with 3g will be equal to 600 minus 180 
so it is 420 it is our second relation i have written two relation which i will this one a plus b plus c plus g 320 and here abc plus 3g is 420 from that two what i can write it down from equation 2 minus equation 1 it would be 2g which is equal to 100 so from here g is equal to 50 so can i say this would be written as 50 this is the data from the given information i can find it out now after that individual question wise we have to proceed and we have to answer it now first question it is that if 90 students subscribe to only ln only ln that means this is the part as for the given information this part is given as 90 as for this question 90 students subscribe to only ln then then question is then the number of people who subscribe to agarwal classes and take g only Chagarwal classes and take G only that means my requirement is to go with this a part this part is my question for this one what it is so for solving it let me take this one separated and my working area in this zone now 90 given as a and i want to find it out if d e f total i know 90 so as if i want to find it out and g okay from a n from a n i want to do calculation a n is how much 200 so basically 200 minus a which is 90 minus g which is 50 if i do it should be d plus e what is d plus e then 140 that means 60 so d plus e equal to 60 so if d plus e is equal to 60 then what would be f f would be from a b uh, d f 90 90 minus 60 that is equal to 30 so the answer for this question it should be 30 if 40 students second question if 40 students subscribe to both ln and agarwal classes 40 students both ln and agarwal classes that means these one 40 i'm taking it out this rdr questions question mark area and here e given as agarwal classes uh, both ln and agarwal classes only 40 this is 40 mentioned okay then the number of people who subscribe to only take g only take g that means our question is this area only take g okay now this e part given as 40 once e part is 40 then d plus f i will be able to find yes because i know d e f is equal to 90 so d plus f is coming as 90 minus 40 which is 50 so d plus f is 50 g is also 50 so what should we be b i want to find which would be 210 minus minus d plus f that already we have calculation calculated minus g also which is nothing but 210 minus 50 minus g is also 50 so 110 would be my answer so the second question is 110 Now third question if 100 students subscribe to take g but not agarwal classes take g plus not but not agarwal classes 
that means it should be d plus g it is 100 no not agarwal class take g but not agarwal classes that means d plus b so this information d plus b this is given as 100 okay but not agarwal classes this is taken then the number of students who subscribe to ln and agarwal classes only ln and agarwal classes only that means i need to find it out this segment e e segment is my requirement okay ln and agarwal classes these two part that we have to do uh, what I can write D plus B is equal to 100. These two is 100. I can find it out that A part easily. So from here A part is nothing but 210 minus 100 minus 50. 150 means 60. 60 is F that I have received. So I can find it out D plus E is how much D plus E that I will be able to find how much it would be 90 minus 60 30 but that is D plus E but I need to find it out E only. Achha, once if is there then I can find E plus C. So D plus E I have received as well as E plus C I can find it out. E plus C is E plus C is how much? 190 minus G plus F. 190 G plus F is 50 plus 60, 110. 190 minus 110 that is 80. 80 is E plus C. So D plus E D E plus C that I have received but E alone not possible that means it is nothing but CBD cannot be determined if 80 students subscribe to only Agarwal classes only Agarwal classes that means this part it has mentioned as 80. It is 80 students on the Agarwal classes. Okay. Then the number of students who subscribe to LN and TechG. Number of students who subscribe to LN and LN and TechG. That means our target is to find it out. This LN and TechG is these two d plus g so actually for this question what is our d plus g is whenever 80 i know once 80 can i find e plus f yes i will be able to find once it is 80 i can find it out e plus f it is from other world classes 190 minus 80 minus 50 this is 130 minus so it is 60 e plus f then d would be equal to 90 minus 60 so 30 it is 30 then our d plus g is equal to 30 plus 50 so it is 80 so answer for this question fourth question is 80. 